Hello, today we will be looking at a different way to serialize data to JSON in Godot if you don't want to use the built-in Godot JSON serializer. I personally like this way a lot better, so let's take a look at how it's done. I've just got a script here. Okay, so first things first here, we'll just need to open up our terminal. So press control tilde, and that's the control plus these kind of squiggly line at the top left of your keyboard. We'll type dot net add package on uh, Newton soft. Uh, not socked, soft dot JSON. And that'll add our package here. Okay, now what we are going to do is we're going to make a couple C sharp classes just to make store our data in. So player dot CS, and we will make one more item dot CS. Okay, let's just open up the player class here and type public class player, and then let's give the player a public string for their name and a public int level. Also, let's give them, uh, did I, no, I didn't make the item yet. So for the item, we'll do a public uh, class item, and we will give the item a public uh, string name and a public uh, int quantity. Well, let's make this capitalized and make these capitalized since they are public. Okay, then we will have a public array of items for the inventory inventory okay, now let's do a constructor public item uh, string name int quantity this dot name is equal to name I don't need to do this what am I doing <laughs> and uh, quantity is equal to quantity Perfect. So we've got our two classes here. These are just to hold our data for when we serialize it to JSON. So let's go back to our original class and go using newtonsoft.json. So that way we can use the JSON serializer. Now let's go uh, create a new player that we will store our player's data in. Player equals new player. Player.name equal to Roya's. And uh, player dot level is equal to let's say twelve. All right, now let's create the inventory. So we'll go player dot inventory is equal to new item. We'll make an array, and then we'll give the curly braces to make to populate that array. So the first item we will go new item, and then we will call this first item a sword. We'll have a quantity of one for that sword. We'll put a comma there, not a semicolon. And then we'll do a new item. Let's do uh, health potions. Health potions. And then we will have, let's say, 30 of those. Need lots of health. Okay. Now to serialize this to JSON, all we got to do is JSON convert dot serialize object. Then we will just pass in our player. Now to test that this is working, we'll just go gd dot print. And then we'll just print out the serialized JSON to the console. And perfect. As you can see here, we've got the um, name is correct. The level is 12. And in the inventory, we have the sword and the health potions. Perfect. So now we'll just put this JSON into a string data, JSON data. Let's get rid of this parenthesis here. Now, to convert this back into a player, we'll just go player. Layer two is equal to JSON vert dot deserialize object, and we'll deserialize into a player. Then all we got to do is pass in the JSON data. Now go gd dot print layer two dot name. We should have it all working for us. Perfect. We've got the name back. Alright, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and if you have any recommendations, please leave it in the comments. Thanks. Bye.